You know, for the longest time, Thursday night football felt like a throwaway game that only the most die-hard fantasy football managers would even bother paying attention to. And finally, after years of disappointment and Bengals and Jaguars games, we finally have a season where Thursday night's pre been pretty good. And this last Thursday, we maybe, just maybe, had the greatest Thursday night football game of all time. So let's dig in. We're not going to watch the highlights from the entire game here because there's more than enough to go over in just these last five minutes. So let's get it started. Now. Big first play, first and goal situation. Packers up three. Boom. That was rule to pass interference. So, let's see. Let us see. It looks pretty pass interference to me. So, okay. Next play. Boom. Aaron Jones. This is easy money, right? Certainly looks that way. First and goal, boom, got it in, right? Well, upon further review, which unfortunately we don't have all the different angles and footage here, but that was ruled not a touchdown. So here we go. Now second and goal, now third and goal. After another stop of Aaron Jones, Rodgers, oh, is he there? He's so close. Man, all fourth and goal, and it gets deflected. So, okay, we went from first and goal, back-to-back -back first and goals. I still can't get over how he... Oh, he's so close. Oh, man. Poor Airy Rodgers. And then a deflection. I mean, that pass was well covered anyway. Uh, the receiver was was blanketed. Not really much going on there. What do you think, folks, before we dive into what happens next what are your thoughts on the decision to not kick a field goal there so i i get the logic you're up three the touchdown cinches it right and worst case scenario which is what we witnessed well second to worst case scenario the absolute worst case scenario is a turnover that somehow the defense gains some yardage on but Getting stopped on fourth and goal from the one forces the opponent, of course, if they're going to beat you, they have to go 99 yards in three and a half minutes. Okay, understood. However, if you kick the field goal, you have a six-point lead. And yes, uh, conventional wisdom dictates that you would give the Cardinals better field position to start their next drive, but now you're forcing them to need that touchdown. And in the modern NFL, extra points are no longer a gimme. So, should the Packers have just kicked a field goal here? And and maybe this wouldn't have been nearly exciting. I can tell you that much. But anyway, let's press on. So, the Cardinals, out the back of their own end zone, Kyler Murray connects to A.J. Green, who really thought he was going to get walloped. He was really ready to get smacked on that one. Big completion. Could have been more, but it all worked out. Man, representing the Lollipop Guild in more ways than one. Kyler Murray just floating that up there. He, this dude's, call him Modest Mouse, because we will all float on all right into triple coverage. I mean, this is gross, right? I mean, good job on Christian Kirk. Good job. On Kyler Murray, I guess, but my goodness, this just, they protect the, protect the pack, okay, there it is, boom, shakalaka, they pick up the pass rush, which is what I was trying to say so smoothly a minute ago, they pick up the pass rush, they connect. Here's more focus on the route. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty... Yeah, I mean, 
hey, he's well contested. Takes a great throw to get that in there. It certainly looked scary from this angle, but obviously high talent, high football IQ play from Kyler Murray, I'm certain. But unfortunately, when you're four foot two, sometimes a snap goes over your head. Boom! Sonic the Hedgehog, Mighty Mouse, whatever you want to call him, connecting to his giant of a teammate, Chase Edmonds, who stands at a an astounding five foot nine compared to Kyler. But hey, there he goes again. Woo! Whoop! Whop! Bang! Boom! Whoop! Chris Berman, where are you at, dude? I need you because we're doing all the rumbling, bumbling, stumbling here. As Arizona, they have this well in hand, right? 15 seconds. I mean, they're even doing little halfback draws here. They're they're feeling comfortable. They're thinking, whoo, we've got this made, boys. Worst case scenario, we are going into overtime. At home, we're undefeated. The best team in the NFC. We got this, dog. We got this. So let's see. How much they got it. Another bad, another bad snap. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Oh, boy, hold up. Hang on. What? What just happened? Let's, you know, I was, I was still focused on the bad snap for the fourth time in a game winning drive. So I don't know. Maybe the center got hurt and we had a backup in here, but I can't barely get done giving this guy shit for snapping the ball over his quarterback's head for the fourth time. And, and AJ, my man, what? So what do we think the route is here that AJ thought was being called? I'm maybe guessing an out route. So as we look here, as we look here, he can see his, the emblem on his helmet. So his eye, he's clearly looking to the back of the end zone, which as a former you know, high school standout wide receiver, I can tell you. Which, as a former wide receiver, I can tell you, he's boom, boom. You know, you're setting him up, right? You're using your hips, using your head, use some shoulders here. Okay, I'm looking here because I'm going here, right? Is that is that what he's doing? He's He's going for an out route, right? Whatever he's doing, it ain't. It ain't this, Chief, because this is just not going to play out well. What? <laughs> just the... And Douglas, oh, to give him credit, he finds the two Packers fans in the stadium. Doesn't give him the ball, but I, I think this is his first pick of the year. Maybe of his career. Um, I don't blame him for not giving this guy. This guy's fucking hyped, dude. Look at that. Is that my cousin? What's he doing? Kyler's pulling this. I used to do this in middle school. Uh, you 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 mess up a play, and so then what you do uh, to gain sympathy and to let everyone know that you're not a scrub, what you do is you pretend that you're hurt real quick. You're just like, ah, ah, shit. Oh, god damn. Oh, my quad, dude, my quad. Kyler didn't even do anything wrong on the play. It's AJ is the one who needs to be faking an injury. What are we, what are we doing here, bub? All right, what, up, up. I, for the life of me, can't imagine a scenario other than AJ didn't ha have the right route in his mind. He thought that the play that was called was something else. What, what is this? There, like, not only does he not look like he, he doesn't even look like he's running a route. Not only does he not look like he's expecting the football. What, what's he doing? He almost It's almost as if he thinks a running play was called. Because he barely engages. There's, no, there's not the usual explosiveness out of a cut that you expect from a wide receiver running a route. And he's still got his hands up like, yo, what? He never once turned around for that ball. It's still absolutely amazing that that, that pick was made. And Aaron Rodgers still... Uh, battling the effects of a concussion he there he is celebrating and and poor Kyler I, all kidding aside obviously I know he's not faking an injury you guys you just calm your shit all right just calm down but 
what just happened era rogers gets to come in take the knee do his little fang discount double belt thing and and let's not uh, spend any extra time on the fact that Randall Cobb's punk ass just destroyed my fantasy football team this week. That's neither here nor there. The Packers get the dub and are now tied for tops in the NFC. So my question to you, sports fans, are the Packers legit? Are the Cardinals legit? Well, let's remember that the Packers were missing key offensive players. They still managed to pull this thing out. Is this the beginning of a downtrend for Arizona? Does this mean nothing? Are we on our way to yet another classic, epic Packers, Cardinals, NFC showdown come playoff time? I don't fucking know, man. I'm just here. You tell me in the comments or something. I'll see you.